All right, you two people. Hey, I'm back out in um, I'm out back out in the Mojave Desert. It's uh, Saturday, the um, 22nd. About 10:40 right now. There we go. It's about 10:40 right now. So I, I got out here early this morning. Uh, there's about I think about a dozen jeeps behind me back there in the canyon. And uh, I'm back out at Crucero Road. You can find on the map Crucero with a C, C U E R C O, I think it is. And the railroad tracks. So if you look on down that way. Let me get out of the car here. Down that way, that's Crucero Road. It takes you all the way down to the I 40. That's another way to get out here if you want to. Be adventurous, take the I 40 down to Ludlow, and uh, you can come this way up Crucero Road. You're gonna cross uh, Broadwell Dry Lake. All right, I'm going down Crucero Road here. I started uh, way back. trail and uh, try to find the best route up there I think I'm gonna head up this way first and go up like that and uh, hopefully it's not steeper than this side over here but uh, I'm on my way A little ways up just getting warmed up here there's a little trail coming up here, so I guess I'm on the right path. Oh. All right, we're almost up there. Not that big of a hike. It's almost warm enough. Oh, if it wasn't for the wind, it'd be too warm. It's just, uh, it's just right. It's real nice out here. Uh, air smells fresh and clean. It's actually nice and clear up here. It was a little sandy and blown out down in the down in the valley down there. But uh we're almost there. I gotta find my way up here and I promise I won't fall down this time. This time I got my hiking boots on. Last time I had flip flops on, those didn't work out too good. There's the truck. Let's get over these rocks here. I don't want to get disorientated. Keep I keep looking through the viewfinder and then looking for a step, and I get all out of focus. Let's see, you can come up from right there too. Little trail going up there. Oops. this is going to come out because I'm kind of facing into the sun but we'll see All right, give you a close-up of this thing here. It's steel, it's welded up in sections. It's not like one big piece of pipe. It's a 
lot of welds on it. That ought to take some time. I'm sure making all these cuts. Not a bad job though. It's kind of a uh, funnel type deal. I'll look inside here. It's got some rebar, a piece of galvanized pipe. Of an interesting design, I think. You got flat strips, looks like an inch and a half, and then it goes inch and a half with the taper. Kind of smart. You got these little fins on here with holes in them. If it was a drum, you put your drum skin on there, you could tie it on right here. Tie it on these loops here, tighten it down nice and tight. Bang away. And this here are acoustics. It does make a little chiming sound. off the rock here but other than that it looks like a pipe flange two pipe flanges bolted together and same thing on the other side Ooh, wind blowing but uh, there's that end there and there's this end over here secure Good. Higher up on the hill here just to look around and uh, looking back now down at the, at the megaphone and he asked herself who would put this thing way up here in the middle of nowhere but uh, this is one of the uh, desert oddities. Now here's a good one. I just ran into this right now. Uh, looks like a giant arrow. Pointing to what? Pot of gold? I saw this on the way in, but I figured I'd stop on the way out and uh, check it out. Uh, right here, you got these little, uh, looks like a little barbecue pit. Well, someone took the time to, uh, Stack a bunch of rocks together. Doesn't look like it's cemented or anything. Hey, look at there's there's things inside there. Let me show you what's in that other one over there. Check this out. What is that, like a lamp or something? Folk art? Isn't that crazy? <laughs> 